Ted Cruz's dad, Rafael Cruz, went on the Faith and Liberty radio show to talk about President Obama, and he's going to compare him to Fidel Castro. I'm going to have fun dissecting this mental midget. A lot of your references to Castro sound a lot like references to President Obama. That's not by accident, is it? Well, you know, what happens is this. You, you got to realize that uh, every totalitarian government, every government that embraces socialism uh, operates by the same rule book. And basically one of the key, uh, one of the key tenets of Marxism is that you have to eliminate the concept of God because government has to become your God. So systematically, they need to remove any kind of loyalties, whether it is to the family, whether it is to God. So all your loyalty is to government. And uh, therefore, they try to destroy uh, any kind of self-reliance, any kind of relying upon God, and make you reliant upon government. That is very much... Uh, uh, seen on this culture of dependency that this administration has created with all these people dependent upon government, that is by design, because that makes the people basically serfs of the government. Sure. And that's, again, something that we see in every totalitarian regime. And, and, of course, the infringement upon our civil liberties that we see an encroachment more and more and more every day whether it is uh, through uh, taxation or through regulation. The EPA is controlling almost every aspect of our lives, and we see our liberties curtail more and more and more. And right now we see a tremendous attack on religious freedom. And uh, as a matter of fact, I think if, if the left had their way, they would do away with the whole Bill of Rights. Well, guys, he caught us. That move we were making to repeal the Constitution Mm, I guess it must have leaked. Goddamn New Black Panthers and Michael Moore and Code Pink. They can't keep their mouth shut. I thought our meetings were private, but they all, yap, yap, yap. Always talking about how we want to repeal the Constitution. How stupid is this guy? Seriously, how stupid is this guy? And now we know where his son gets it from. That's what Ted Cruz has been going around saying, the Democrats want to repeal the First Amendment. Green eggs and ham. I don't even understand that book. <sighs> Where was your constitutional concern when George W. Bush and Dick Cheney got rid of habeas corpus and got rid of due process and opened Guantanamo Bay and took away people's protection from cruel and unusual punishment and took away your uh, Fourth Amendment protection from unreasonable search and seizure? Where were you when President Bush and Dick Cheney took a massive shit on the Constitution? Back then, oh, you were cheerleading for the destruction of the Constitution. But when Democrats are in power and they do some of the same things, now all of a sudden, oh, violating the Constitution, and not even in that way. You know what they usually point to? They don't care about that stuff. They're in favor of all the brutal, vicious, torturing people, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what they don't like is Obamacare. It doesn't violate the Constitution, but they pretend like it does. Clearly, they have no clue what the fuck they're talking about. Probably my favorite line in what he said, uh, the, the EPA is uh, going to control your, it's controlling every aspect of it, your life. Uh, you know what? He makes a good point. Earlier today, I had a ham and cheese sandwich. Fucking EPA guy rang the doorbell and said, are you making that ham and cheese sandwich within the proper regulations? Don't make me come in there and check your ass. You know, I was watching, uh, I was watching a TV the other day. And the EPA busted down the door and said, you've kept that on for a minute and a half too long. You're using too much electricity. Shut it off, EPA regulator. Except they don't do that. And again, you're making all this up. And then, look, it, it goes beyond stupid and just to disgraceful at a certain point. You know, when, it, oh, Obama is like Castro. He's a socialist and a totalitarian and a Marxist. God doesn't even know what the definition of those things are. Oh, Obama is removing God from the country. Right, a guy who is a Christian and trumpeted how Christian he is and gets gospel passages sent to him on his Blackberry every morning. That guy is ending Christianity in the country. Funny, how is it that about 80% of the country, they're still self-described Christians? Weird how that works. Oh, Obama is making people more dependent on government, and uh, that's a fucking scam to get you to worship government as God. The things these guys come up with. Okay, under Obama and the Democrats... 
The private sector has had 52 straight months of job growth. Private sector, that's capitalism. That's small business, big business. That's capitalist. That's not the government, right? That's up. There's been 9.7 million jobs created under Obama and the Democrats. You know where they've cut? Government jobs. Hundreds of thousands of government jobs have been cut under Obama. If he's a socialist, he's the shittiest socialist imaginable. 91% of the jobs in the United States economy are private sector jobs, capitalist jobs. Tell me again how he's a Marxist. He wants all government all the time. He's not done yet. The crazy is just starting. Do you, do you believe that President Obama wants to take our guns as part of this worldview? Well, of course. Uh, I mean, you've got to realize that, that, again, it's all about control. But, you know, you look at history. Stalin took out the guns, then killed 20 million people. Mao took out the guns, then killed 50 million people. Every society where government has taken the guns away from the population, then they've used them against the population. That's pretty amazing. Uh, there's, you're, you're someone that right wing watch follows. I, I don't know if you're aware of that. Uh, that's a website listeners out there that tracks uh, conservatives they're, they're concerned about. Uh, what are your thoughts on this that you, you're being tracked? And, and Well, you know, uh, actually, Jesus put it very clearly. They persecuted me, they're going to persecute you. If you're standing for righteousness, mm -hmm. people are going to come against you. If, if nobody's attacking you, perhaps you ought to question whether you're making an impact on society or not. You're like Jesus. I'm righteous. I'm just like Jesus. Just like Jesus. <laughs> He's a caricature of himself, you know? He's a living SNL skit. I don't even need to go above and beyond and scream about this. I mean, Obama, Obama's like Stalin and Mao, obviously. And I love, uh, do you think Obama is coming to take the guns? Of course. That's what he said. Of course. Of course. Of course. He's coming to, uh, you know, take the guns from everybody. It's just flat out counterfactual. These guys don't know anything. They're either the biggest idiots on the planet or they're liars. You pick which one you want. I don't know. It's your choice. Whatever you want, they both make sense. There's, there's evidence for both sides. But think about it, man. We couldn't even get a universal background check passed, okay? 93% of the country wants that. The NRA and the gun lobby killed it, and the Republicans killed it, okay? We couldn't get a universal background check, a high-capacity magazine ban uh, passed. We couldn't get... um a ban of automatic weapons through. Even if you did all those things, which makes sense, right? Even if you did all those things, we'd still have hundreds of millions of guns in the country. Right now, there's over 300 million guns in the country. Even under the strictest, but biggest crackdown proposed by the Democrats, we'd still have hundreds of millions of guns in the country. And the so-called executive orders Obama did, they're the most moderate, vanilla, do-nothing executive orders possible that j tweaked around the edges, right? There's, there's no evidence the Democrats are coming to take guns or Obama's coming to take guns, but just say it anyway. Say it because your audience is stupid. That's the point. And that's what Rafael Cruz is doing here. That's what Ted Cruz does all the time. Look, if anybody listens to these guys and takes them even a little bit seriously... God, man, that's so sad. You're just as dumb as they are, if that's the case. I really feel bad because the misinformation is so absurd and so over the top and so ridiculous that it's a self-parody, and yet there are still some people who listen to that and go, these guys nailed it, they're 100% right, and I'm loyal to them.